Only enough for two doses. Got to make them count. It's working, Nadia. Everything looks... Normal is the wrong word, but nothing like the last time. Good. I've made my own antidote and enough for Grandpa, if we find him. I'm on my way to meet you now. Scarecrows, of course. This can't be the same place. I was lost in here. When the guilt of working in the gulag became too strong, I would lash out. A stolen screwdriver, misplaced paperwork, futile gestures that would never balance the scales. One day, I was caught taking a stupid risk. Your grandmother, Serafima, she spoke up, took the blame. They beat her, mercilessly. But I was saved. When I found a moment to thank her, she spat at my feet, told me I had risked my life for nothing, challenged me to do more. You have so much of her in you, Nadia. At first, I thought her cruel. She gave me no credit for my little acts of disobedience. That place, the gulag, it, it crushed hope and ate what little scraps of dignity remained. Every day I did not fight it with my whole heart, she said. I was complicit in atrocity. She demanded my honesty because she knew I was capable. It was the greatest kindness anyone had ever shown me, and I loved her for it. This is Trinity. It's all wrong. Lost the old man entering the veil. Lost Fisher, lost Parker, just gone, no trace. <sighs> Can't trust the eyes, seeing things, corpses, worse, things that walk so huge they hide the stars. <sighs> Can't tell what's real. Not sure there is a real. Is it the eyes? The eyes have to go. My hands are steady now. Billings goes first. Stop! Hold still! Yeah, must have walked right past it last time. No bodies, though. Maybe they're still alive in here. Nothing. Just a forest. It was so real. Nadia, what do you know about these ruins out here? Even before the witch made her home there, our people avoided the veil. The founders were building a shrine out there, but something happened to them. None of us have been in there in generations. Be careful. Even if your visions weren't real, that place is still deadly. We decided to wait until winter passed. We hid supplies. We made maps. We planned. I got her a work detail indoors. She helped me find ways to slow the grinding gears of the Gulag. If I could disable a hydraulic lift, I could keep a hundred men from one day in the mines. Cut the wiring of a few trucks. There would be no special work projects for another week. I took greater risks, but once I had met your grandmother, I could not return to the sin of ignorance. We knew that the child would complicate our escape, and she hid it as long as she could. And then, without warning, they took her away. Our daughter was given to a nursemaid among the native prisoners, and they dragged Serafima away to the Vale. 
I tried to stop them. Fighting in the open, I stood in front of the transport truck, prepared to kill to save her. But there were too many of them. I screamed my farewell as they dragged me away. And I don't know if she heard. get across somehow. Maybe I can raise and lock these platforms to get over there.
Maybe I can raise and lock these platforms to get over there. Maybe I can raise and lock these platforms to get over there. one of these ropes to get back up. the other Russian prisoners. I could see the hate in their eyes, and I didn't blame them. To them, I was just another instrument of their humiliation and degradation. I didn't tell them what I tried to do. It could never be enough. When the revolt came, I was ready. The native prisoners, the ones the Gulag recruited from this very village, were kept apart from the Russians. They had known of my resistance, and that kept them from killing me, along with the other guards. I held my daughter, your mother, for the first time as the Gulag burned around us. The people of the village took us both in, and against their own superstition, agreed to help me rescue your grandmother from the veil. Maybe I can raise and lock these platforms to get over there. Thank <laughs> you. 
got to run. I'm at the top, Nadia. I'm almost there, just behind you. Don't go anywhere without me. all this time. It looks like she even made a few improvements, but I don't think those ropes will survive many more trips. It only needs to make one. Two. I'd like to come back down. Eventually. <sighs> Try pulling that lever over on the platform. Maybe it'll get us moving. Which is clever. Everything in this veil is arranged to perpetuate the myth of Baba Yaga, and the pollen does the rest. The last time I saw the lift, it looked nothing like this. What did you see? Just as the legend says, a house walking on giant bird legs, but without the pollen, it's just an old contraption. I'm sorry. I was so sure of Grandpa's story. She's Russian, someone who knew the myth well. Nadia, it's possible that your grandfather will know who she is. He was a prisoner in the Gulag, you said. I didn't say that. Not exactly. Grandpa was a god. My grandmother was the prisoner. She was a brilliant scientist. And they brought her out to the Vale to help study some of the ruins. Killing the witch won't bring her back, but I understand. Let's just hope we can reach him in time. Pollen. Here, let me. Grandpa, can you hear me? I, I tried. I couldn't save her. I tried. Shh, it's okay now. I'll stay with him, Laura. It's time. You only have one more dose remaining. Make it count. The officer wandered out of the veil, just as our rescue party prepared to enter. His body bore the marks of torture, a sight we knew well. The witch descended on them during the revolt, killing Seraphima along with her captors. He told us of the house that walks, of her fearsome voice. A child's story made flesh. He died the next day. Baba Yaga leaves no survivors. I wanted to go on, to bury your grandmother, but no one would enter the veil after that. In the village, I learned to be a good man. I lived to honor her. I worked hard, but I dreamt of killing the witch every night. I might have gone years ago, had the fever not taken your mother. I stayed for you, Nadia. I am a lucky man. I lived a good life I did not deserve. A new fight is coming, but it is not mine. If I am to find revenge for Seraphima, it must be now. I go to kill the witch. 
to lay your grandmother to rest. I will not be coming back. Forgive me. <laughs> 